Hello and welcome once again to Chart Milk. In this episode on the channel, I show you three different ways to find gap up and gap down stocks with the stock screener Chart Milk. The content of this video is also described in an article that can be found in our online documentation. And I include a direct link to the article in the description below this video. So, as described in the article, a gap is nothing more than a change in price levels between the close and the open of two consecutive days. We distinguish two basic types of gaps, a full gap and a partial gap. There is a full gap when the opening price is higher than the highest price of the previous day. A partial gap occurs when today's opening price is higher than yesterday's close, but not higher than yesterday's high. The first option to screen for gaps can easily be found on the home page in the main menu on the left side. Click on stock market. Below you will find the choice gap up and gap down. If you click on this option, you'll be taken to a separate page where you'll get a handy overview of which stocks have opened with a gap. On the left you will find the shares that opened higher, the so-called gap up stocks, and the column on the right gives an overview of the shares that are opened lower, in this case with a gap down. When you then press the full list button, Chartmill immediately takes you to the stock screener where you are presented with all the stocks that have been opened with a gap up. By default you will see the technical analysis table, but you can change that by clicking on the inverted triangle in the blue bar and then selecting an alternative view. I select charts here. If your screen is big enough, you can change the setting chart per line on the far right. I select for example tree, so I can see three different charts next to each other. With the option big charts, you can make the charts even bigger. And you can add or change indicators by clicking on main chart in the menu at the top where you can add indicators and or overlays to your chart using the plus sign. Another way to screen for gap stocks is by using the stock screener page itself, where you can easily use a predefined filter to detect bullish or bearish gaps that occurred during the past trading day. On the home page you select the stock screener in the left menu, and on the next page you select the tab performance and choose signal. Here you will find a number of predefined gap filters. You can choose from gaps of at least 2 to 4 percent. As an example, I choose the 2% gap up filter, and as a result I get 578 stocks. The number of results can then be further refined by adding additional filters. For example, if I select that the minimum share price should be $5 and the average trading volume should be at least 200,000 over the last 50 trading days, then there are exactly 30 shares left that meet all the required filters. The third and last way is a bit less obvious, but for those who already have a little more experience with Chartmill, this is certainly the best option to set the gap filters completely to their own wishes. This way of screening makes it possible to make a distinction between full or partial gaps. Moreover, the size of the gaps can also be defined according to your own wishes. Going into more detail about all the possibilities with the custom expressions would lead us too far in this video. If you want to know more about it, this article is a good starting point to get to grips with it. I add a link to the article below. Custom expressions can be used by choosing the tab Custom in the stock screener. For example, suppose we want a filter that only selects stocks that have opened more than 3% higher than the highest price of the previous day. In custom expressions, this is how it goes. For the left hand side of the expression, I first pick the option Expression. Next I select Property and select today's low price from the list. For the mathematical operator I select the division sign. And in the last field I click again for Property and select previous high price. To determine that the opening price must be at least 3% higher, I select the option Greater than in comparison. To finish, I set a constant value for the right hand side, in this case 1.03 and press enter. 
With this custom filter I defined a full gap because I picked the option previous high price in the left hand side of the expression. But if you want to see not only full but also partial gaps as a result we need to change previous high price to previous close price, like in this example. However, the custom filter has the limitation that it not only shows gaps of at least 3%, but also gaps that are much larger. To avoid gaps that are too large, you can define an additional custom expression where you state that the gap can be at most 5%. This goes as follows. For the left hand side of the equation, pick the option Expression. Next, select Property and select today's low price from the list. Select the division sign. In the last field, choose Property and select Previous Close Price. Now, to determine that the opening price may be at max 5% higher, I select the option Smaller than or equal to in the comparison. To finish, I set in a constant value for the right hand side of the equation, in this case 1.05. Now we've created a gap filter that screens for full and partial gaps of at least 3%, but at max 5%. To further refine the results, I set some additional basic filters under the tab General. I only choose US stocks with a minimum price of $5 and an average volume of at least 200,000 shares traded. As you can see on the charts, there are sometimes price peaks of more than 5% or even more than 20%. This is perfectly normal. The 5% upper limit we defined in the custom screen only applies to the difference between the opening price and the closing price of the previous trading day. If the price rises sharply after opening, you may have closing prices that are still a lot higher than the rise that occurred at opening due to the initial gap up. If you also want to exclude stocks that have risen more than 5% compared to the previous trading day, you can do so by using the Today Performance filter under the Performance tab. Set the value to a maximum of 5% and all the stocks that have risen more than 5% at the end of the trading day will be removed. So those were the three different ways you can use Chartmill to screen for shares that have an opening gap. The first two options are simple and fast to use. The third option is slightly more sophisticated, but also offers the most possibilities to get the results you really want. Especially when it comes to the third option, with the use of the custom expressions, it comes down to a bit of practice with all the possibilities to discover the power and the advantages. You'll soon notice that for many other filters, a lot of additional features can be created by using custom expressions. So be sure to take advantage of it. If there are any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. Thanks for watching. Trade safe.